سورة طه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طه We have not sent down to you the Quran that you may be distressed but only as a reminder for those who fear a revelation from he who created the earth and highest heavens the most merciful above the throne established to him belongs what is in the heavens and what is on the earth and what is between them and what is under the soil and if you speak aloud then indeed he knows the secret and what is even more hidden Allah there is no deity except him to him belong the best names and has the story of Moses reached you when he saw a fire and said to his family stay here indeed i have perceived a fire perhaps i can bring you a torch or find at the fire some guidance and when he came to it he was called o moses indeed i am your lord so remove your sandals indeed you are in the sacred valley of dua and i have chosen you so listen to what is revealed indeed i am allah there is no deity except me so worship me and establish prayer for my remembrance indeed the hour is coming i almost conceal it so that every soul may be recompensed according to that for which it strives so do not let one avert you from it who does not believe in it and follows his desire for you then would perish and what is that in your right hand o moses he said it is my staff i lean upon it and i bring down leaves for my sheep and i have therein other uses allah said throw it down o moses so he threw it down and thereupon it was a snake moving swiftly allah said seize it and fear not we will return it to its former condition and draw in your hand to your side it will come out white without disease another sign that we may show you of our greater signs go to pharaoh indeed he has transgressed moses said my lord expand for me my breast and ease for me my task and untie the knot from my tongue that they may understand my speech and appoint for me a minister from my family aaron my brother increase through him my strength and let him share my task that we may exalt you much and remember you much indeed you are of us ever seeing allah said you have been granted your request o moses and we had already conferred favor upon you another time when we inspired to your mother what we inspired saying cast him into the chest and cast it into the river and the river will throw it onto the bank they will take him an enemy to me and an enemy to him and i bestowed upon you love from me that you would be brought up under my eye when your sister went and said shall i direct you to someone who will be responsible for him so we restored you to your mother that she might be content and not grieve and you killed someone but we saved you from retaliation and tried you with a severe trial and you remained some years among the people of median then you came here at the decreed time o moses and i produced you for myself go you and your brother with my signs and do not slacken in my remembrance go both of you to pharaoh indeed he has transgressed and speak to him with gentle speech that perhaps he may be reminded or fear they said our lord indeed we are afraid that he will hasten against us or that he will transgress allah said fear not indeed i am with you both i hear and i see so go to him and say indeed we are messengers of your lord so send with us the children of israel and do not torment them we have come to you with a sign from your lord and peace will be upon he who follows the guidance indeed it has been revealed to us that the punishment will be upon whoever denies and turns away pharaoh said so who is the lord of you too o moses 
He said, Our Lord is he who gave each thing its form, and then guided it. Pharaoh said, Then what is the case of the former generations? Moses said, The knowledge thereof is with my Lord in a record. My Lord neither errs nor forgets. It is he who has made for you the earth as a bed, and inserted therein for you roadways, and sent down from the sky rain, and produced thereby categories of various plants. Eat and pasture your livestock. Indeed in that are signs for those of intelligence. From it we created you, and into it we will return you, and from it we will extract you another time. And we certainly showed him our signs, all of them, but he denied and refused. He said, Have you come to us to drive us out of our land with your magic, O Moses? Then we will surely bring you magic like it. So make between us and you an appointment, which we will not fail to keep, and neither will you, in a place assigned. Moses said, Your appointment is on the day of the festival, when the people assemble at mid-morning. So Pharaoh went away, put together his plan, and then came. Moses said to them, Woe to you! Do not invent a lie against Allah, or he will exterminate you with a punishment, and he has failed who invents such falsehood. So they disputed over their affair among themselves, and concealed their private conversation. They said, Indeed, these are two magicians who want to drive you out of your land with their magic, and do away with your most exemplary way. So resolve upon your plan, and then come forward in line, and he has succeeded today who overcomes. They said, O Moses, either you throw, or we will be the first to throw. He said, Rather you throw. And suddenly their ropes and staffs seemed to him from their magic that they were moving like snakes, and he sensed within himself apprehension did Moses. Allah said, Fear not, indeed it is you who are superior, and throw what is in your right hand, it will swallow up what they have crafted. What they have crafted is but the trick of a magician, and the magician will not succeed wherever he is. So the magicians fell down in prostration. They said, We have believed in the Lord of Aaron and Moses. Pharaoh said, You believed him before I gave you permission. Indeed, he is your leader who has taught you magic. So I will surely cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and I will crucify you on the trunks of palm trees, and you will surely know which of us is more severe in giving punishment and more enduring. They said, Never will we prefer you over what has come to us of clear proofs and over he who created us. So decree whatever you are to decree. You can only decree for this worldly life. Indeed, we have believed in our Lord that he may forgive us our sins and what you compelled us to do of magic. And Allah is better and more enduring. Indeed, whoever comes to his Lord as a criminal, indeed, for him is hell. He will neither die therein nor live. But whoever comes to him as a believer, having done righteous deeds, for those will be the highest degrees. Gardens of perpetual residence, beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally. And that is the reward of one who purifies himself. And we had inspired to Moses, Travel by night with my servants, and strike for them a dry path through the sea. You will not fear being overtaken, nor be afraid. So Pharaoh pursued them with his soldiers, and there covered them from the sea, that which covered them. And Pharaoh led his people astray, and did not guide. O children of Israel, we delivered you from your enemy, and we made an appointment with you at the right side of the mount, and we sent down to you manna and quails, eat from the good things with which we have provided you, and do not transgress therein, lest my anger should descend upon you. 
and he upon whom my anger descends has certainly fallen. But indeed, I am the perpetual forgiver of whoever repents and believes and does righteousness and then continues in guidance. Allah said, And what made you hasten from your people, O Moses? He said, They are close upon my tracks, and I hastened to you, my Lord, that you be pleased. Allah said, But indeed, we have tried your people after you, and the Samiri has led them astray. So Moses returned to his people, angry and grieved. He said, O my people, did your Lord not make you a good promise? Then, was the time of its fulfilment too long for you? Or did you wish that wrath from your Lord descend upon you, so you broke your promise of obedience to me? They said, We did not break our promise to you by our will, but we were made to carry burdens from the ornaments of the people, so we threw them into the fire. And thus did the Samiri throw, and he extracted for them the statue of a calf, which had a lowing sound. And they said, This is your God, and the God of Moses, but he forgot. Did they not see that it could not return to them any speech, and that it did not possess for them any harm or benefit? And Aaron had already told them before, O my people, you are only being tested by it, and indeed your Lord is the most merciful, so follow me and obey my order. They said, we will never cease being devoted to it until Moses returns to us. Moses said, O Aaron, what prevented you when you saw them going astray from following me? Then have you disobeyed my order? Aaron said, O son of my mother, do not seize me by my beard or by my head. Indeed, I feared that you would say you caused division among the children of Israel and you did not observe or await my word. Moses said, And what is your case, O Samidi? He said, I saw what they did not see, so I took a handful of dust from the track of the messenger and threw it, and thus did my soul entice me. Moses said, Then go, and indeed it is decreed for you in this life to say no contact, and indeed you have an appointment you will not fail to keep, and look at your God, to which you remained devoted. We will surely burn it, and blow it into the sea with a blast. Your God is only Allah, except for whom there is no deity. He has encompassed all things in knowledge. Thus, we relate to you from the news of what has preceded, and we have certainly given you from us a message. Whoever turns away from it, then indeed, he will bear on the day of resurrection a burden, eternally therein, and evil it is for them on the day of resurrection as a load, the day the horn will be blown, and we will gather the criminals that day blue-eyed. They will murmur among themselves, you remained not but ten days in the world. We are most knowing of what they say when the best of them in manner will say, you remained not but one day and they ask you about the mountains, so say, my Lord will blow them away with a blast, and he will leave it a level plain. You will not see therein a depression or an elevation. That day, everyone will follow the call of the caller, with no deviation therefrom, and all voices will be stilled before the most merciful, so you will not hear except a whisper. That day, no intercession will benefit, except that of one to whom the Most Merciful has given permission and has accepted his word. He knows what is presently before them and what will be after them, but they do not encompass it in knowledge, and faces will be humbled before the ever-living, the sustainer of existence, and he will have failed who carries injustice. But he who does of righteous deeds, while he is a believer, he will neither fear injustice nor deprivation. And thus we have sent it down as an Arabic Qur'an and have diversified therein the warnings that perhaps they will avoid sin or it would cause them remembrance. So high is Allah, 
the sovereign, the truth, and do not hasten with the Qur'an before its revelation is completed to you, and say, My Lord, increase me in knowledge, and we had already taken a promise from Adam before, but he forgot, and we found not in him determination. And mention when we said to the angels, Prostrate to Adam, and they prostrated, except Iblis, he refused. So we said, O Adam, indeed, this is an enemy to you and to your wife. Then let him not remove you from paradise so you would suffer. Indeed, it is for you not to be hungry therein or be unclothed. And indeed, you will not be thirsty therein or be hot from the sun. Then Satan whispered to him, he said, O Adam, shall I direct you to the tree of eternity and possession that will not deteriorate? And they ate of it, and their private parts became apparent to them, and they began to fasten over themselves from the leaves of paradise, and Adam disobeyed his Lord and erred. Then his Lord chose him and turned to him in forgiveness and guided Allah said, Descend from it, all being enemies to one another, and if there should come to you guidance from me, then whoever follows my guidance will neither go astray nor suffer, and whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed, he will have a depressed life, and we will gather him on the day of resurrection blind. He will say, My Lord, why have you raised me blind? While I was once seeing, Allah will say, Thus did our signs come to you, and you forgot them, and thus will you this day be forgotten. And thus do we recompense he who transgressed and did not believe in the signs of his Lord, and the punishment of the hereafter is more severe and more enduring. Then has it not become clear to them how many generations we destroyed before them as they walk among their dwellings, indeed in that are signs for those of intelligence. And if not for a word that proceeded from your Lord, punishment would have been an obligation due immediately, and if not for a specified term. So be patient over what they say, and exult with praise of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before its setting, and during periods of the night, and at the ends of the day, that you may be satisfied and do not extend your and do not extend your eyes toward that by which we have given enjoyment to some categories of them its being but the splendor of worldly life by which we test them and the provision of your lord is better and more enduring and enjoin prayer upon your family and be steadfast therein we ask you not for provision we provide for you and the best outcome is for those of righteousness. And they say, Why does he not bring us a sign from his Lord? Has there not come to them evidence of what was in the former scriptures? And if we had destroyed them with a punishment before him, they would have said, Our Lord, why did you not send to us a messenger, so we could have followed your verses before we were humiliated and disgraced? Say, Each of us is waiting, so wait, for you will know who are the companions of the sound path and who is guided.